NHK Newsline. It's 6 a.m. Sunday, Tokyo time. France, Britain and the United States launched airstrikes on Libyan government forces on Saturday. The raids are in line with a UN Security Council resolution allowing military action to protect the Libyan people from attacks by Muammar Gaddafi's forces. Tonight, British forces are in action over Libya. They are part of an international coalition that has come together to enforce the will of the United Nations and to protect the Libyan people. The U.S. Defense Department says its military has started a missile attack against Libya's air defenses. It says more than 100 Tomahawk cruise missiles were launched from U.S. Navy vessels in the Mediterranean. The French Defense Ministry says its air force carried out its first attack against Gaddafi's forces at 7 p.m. on Saturday. France has deployed about 20 fighter jets over Libya. They have carried out airstrikes against government forces, apparently near Benghazi in the northeast of the country. Meanwhile, Russia's foreign ministry says it's regrettable that military intervention has begun in Libya. In a statement issued on Saturday, it called for all forces in Libya and nations conducting military operations to take every possible measure to stop violence as soon as possible to avoid civilian casualties. Firefighters have ended a, th a 13 and a half water spring operation to cool the number three reactor at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The Tokyo Fire Department started the operation shortly after 2 p.m. on Saturday. The firefighters set up an unmanned vehicle in front of the plant that can spray seawater from a height of 22 meters. The water is being supplied through an 800 meter hose. Officials say the system will protect the firefighters from harmful radiation. All out efforts are being made to cool down the storage pool for spent nuclear fuel rods to prevent it from leaking radioactive substances. The Tokyo Fire Department had planned a seven hour operation to discharge about 1,200 tons of water, almost the same amount as the capacity of the storage pool. But it extended that operation for six and a half hours after repeated requests from the government. The total amount of water sprayed was apparently more than double the capacity of the pool. The Tokyo Fire Department and the government task force will discuss the possibility of further spraying operations at the stricken plant. Earlier, Tokyo Fire Department workers who helped to spray water on Saturday held a news conference. He asked me what was most difficult. Well, it is my firefighters. My firefighters have very high level of motivation and they worked very hard. And they're left behind families. I feel extremely sorry for the families.